Can you please introduce yourself, sir? I'm Senator Mushahid Hussain from Pakistan. I'm co-chairman of the International Conference of Asian Political Parties, ICAP, which is the largest organization of Asian political parties. And I'm leading a delegation of 25 uh, different uh, political parties from different countries. And I'm in Pakistan. I'm chairman of the parliament's defense committee. So you're here today, obviously, to look and observe what's happening. How yes. Have you seen things today? Yes, we came early in the morning and we saw people. Things were very orderly. Things were very organized. People, paperwork was complete, very efficiently done. And uh, people are enthusiastic about voting. And I think that's what democracy is all about. Speaking of democracy, this is the, now the seventh uh, mandate for Cambodia. Have you seen the changes over the, the last um, other six elections to now? I came first for the election observation in 2013. Then I came in 2018. And I've seen a remarkable transformation of Cambodian society. Uh, a change for the better. I think people's lives are better. And I, as a student of history, because I, my field is international relations, this country was the killing fields. Today, they are flourishing fields and they are doing progress. So I think that uh, uh, the democratic system and economic progress in this country go hand in hand. And what this country needs is stability, unity and continuity of politics and policies in a manner that it's people-centered development, which we see all around. So you've seen the changes of uh, yes. Cambodia, and particularly in Phnom Penh, and you're saying it's for, for the great. What can you think the future will happen? How do you think the future is going? I think that uh, within Cambodia, things are going to be stable. I think there's a, a certain level of maturity has been reached. They have realized what happened in the past, and I think the horrors of the past are is like a bad dream. It was a nightmare. What happened in the Pol Pot years, the civil war, and today, <laughs> Uh, they want to build a better tomorrow. As I told Prime Minister Hun Sen yesterday during the luncheon, I said, you in Southeast Asia, we in Pakistan and Southwest Asia, we want to build a better tomorrow in the Asian century. A better tomorrow with no exploitation, no interference, and no overlords and no underdogs. To continue the legacy of um, Hun Sen. Well, yesterday he, uh, the Prime Minister mentioned about his son and Hun Manat was there, a dashing young man. And I jokingly told him, I said, the sun also rises. <laughs> and he had a good laugh. And then I told him, where have you been educated? He said he studied in West Point and the U.S. Military Academy. I said, when I was a student in Georgetown in Washington, I also went to West Point for a student conference. And that's a very prestigious military academy. He's a well-groomed, well-trained, professional person positive, pleasant, and uh, seems to have a good how to, and most important, a lot of humility. I think the willingness to listen and learn from others. I think that uh, he has the right genes, so I wish him good luck. Yes. Thank you very much for your time. Thank and you. Good luck for the Anthony, good luck.